My guy's in. My guy's in, too. Hey, is your guy gonna freak out when he finds out who my guy is? I mean, didn't they just do a job together in New York? Yeah, but didn't they just destroy the DSS field office in LA by throwing each other through it? I don't know. Look, I don't know about your guy, but my guy, he's gonna get this. He's gonna pull this off. You know why? We've been best friends our whole goddamn lives. Well, my guy beat the shit out of me at a bar in Krakow 17 years ago, and he doesn't even remember me. So, we all have our histories. Anyway, it's the fate of the world here. It's the fate of the world. The planet's population is in their hands. Serious stuff. I mean, you think they'd be able to put aside any petty rivalries to save the world. Mm, mm. No, no fucking way. way. No, I'm not working with this guy. I've been there, done that. Hey, the minute he gets involved, you can kiss goodbye to any finesse because She-Hulk here only knows how to smash. Yeah, and Mr. Arson here only knows how to blow shit up. The fact is. And the fact is. No offense. Oh, no offense. This guy's a real asshole. That's uh, some bitch in your native tongue. That'd be wanker in your native town. Are you finish blubbering? You sound like a giant tattooed baby. You know what, I'm not listening to this horse shit. I got a job to do. Tell your mom I said hi. Actually, I'll tell her myself. Don't you ever talk about my mother, I'll put your head through that wall. Secondly, I'll have this job done while you're still putting on your baby oil. Good luck, Slick. That's it. You just reminded me. That's exactly why I hate working with you. It's your voice. It's your nasally, prepubescent Harry Potter voice. Every time you speak, just imagine this for a second. It's like dragging my balls across shattered glass. And it hurts. Well, for me, it's not your voice. It's your face. Your big, stupid face. Looking at it makes me feel like God is projectile vomiting right in my eyes. And it burns. It really burns. What are you gonna do now? Throw a bit of furniture? For your information, I was gonna take this chair and turn it sideways and shove it right down your throat. Of course you were, because that's your answer to everything. Smash your hole through every problem in a massive truck. But it's not gonna work here. Uh, I think it'll work fine. Guys, why don't you two take a seat and we'll talk through this. Me and you, us, I've been down this road. It's a total waste of time. For once, I couldn't agree with you more. Yeah? Well, I'm doing this my way. If anyone's got a problem with that, I suggest you come out here and stop me. I'm not going in there. I'm not going in there. Smart lads. All right. <laughs> now that we got rid of that fun sponge, we can get to work. I want you to pull up every CCTV camera around Central London. We already have two dozen agents scouring. Don't you talk back to me, Opie. Uh-uh. I just care about the coverage. I ain't gonna ask you again. Now pull it up. Now zoom in on the area of the heist. Now invert it. Highlight the areas that the cameras don't cover. She's smart.